Seven Home Remedies for Swollen Feet That Work. Hey everyone, Rob here from Remarkable Remedies and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five remedies for swollen feet. So if you're ready, let's go. I'm sure that you might know a person or two that has suffered with swollen feet. And I can assure you, it's not a pleasant thing to have happen to you or your friends. Painless swelling of the feet or ankles is common and can happen for a variety of reasons. Causes of swollen feet can include staying on your feet too long, ill-fitting shoes or shoes that fit poorly, pregnancy or being pregnant, lifestyle factors, certain medical conditions. When fluid accumulates in tissues, it's called edema. While edema usually resolves on its own, there are several home remedies that may reduce the swelling more quickly and increase your own comfort. Here are seven that you can try. Number one, drink eight to 10 glasses of water per day. Though it might seem counterintuitive, getting enough fluids actually helps reduce swelling. When your body isn't hydrated enough, it holds on to the fluid it does have. This contributes to swelling. Number two, buy compression socks. On a side note, compression socks do work. My father-in-law buys them and he uses them uh, every day. Compression socks can be found at a drug or grocery store or even bought online. Start with compression socks that are between 12 to 15 millimeter or 15 to 20 millimeter of mercury. They come in a variety of weights and compressions, so it might be best to start off with lighter weight socks and then find the kind that provides the most relief. Number three, soak in a cool Epsom salt bath for about 15 to 20 minutes. Epsom salt, also known as magnesium sulfate, may not only help with muscle pain, it may also reduce swelling and inflammation. The theory is that Epsom salt draws out toxins and increases relaxation. Just make sure to get Epsom salts marked with USP designation. This simply means that it meets the standards set forth by the US Food and Drug Administration and is safe to use. Number four, elevate your feet, preferably above your heart. Prop your feet on cushions, pillows, or even things like phone books when you sleep. And on a side note, you can also elevate your bed. Prop it up, either end, whatever you have to do. If you're looking to reduce foot swelling while pregnant, try elevating your feet several times a day as well. Aim for about 20 minutes at a time, even on an ottoman or a chair. Number five, get moving. If you sit or stand in one area for a long period of time, like at work, this can lead to swollen feet. Try to move a little bit each hour, even if it's a walk to the break room, a walk around the block at lunch, flexing your knees and ankles, or a lap around the office. Magnesium supplements can be helpful for some people. If you retain water, you might have a magnesium deficiency. Eating foods high in magnesium can help. Magnesium rich foods to add to your diet include almonds, tofu, cashews, spinach, dark chocolate, broccoli, avocados. Taking 200 to 400 milligrams of magnesium daily might help with the swelling. But before you take any kind of supplement, ask your doctor. Magnesium supplements aren't right for everyone, especially if you have a kidney or heart condition. Number seven, make some dietary changes. Reducing your sodium intake can help decrease swelling in your body, including in your feet. Opt for low sodium versions of your favorite foods and try to reframe from adding salt to your meals. Each person is different. Depending on what's causing the swelling, some of these remedies might not be effective all the time for everyone. If one doesn't work, don't hesitate to try another or use one in conjunction with another. If you're pregnant, ask your obstetrician before taking any supplements 
or even before increasing your activity level. Okay, well, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video on seven home remedies for swollen feet that work. And if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe as I'm uploading content weekly. And don't forget to tick that bell notification so you can get notified when I release videos. I'm Rob Miller from Remarkable Remedies. Please take care and God bless.